time. Dear judges, welcome. Today, I'm going to serve a coffee with a nice story. Do you remember spring in 2020? Before all the crazy stuff with the pandemic situation? I do. Because together with my friend Ushi Simmerman, we sourced a coffee which I roasted for the World Brewers in Melbourne, 2020. But the Melbourne event was cancelled. And to be honest, we are a small roastery in a small country, and it's really difficult for us to sell large quantities of expensive competition coffees. Fortunately, we almost succeeded, and this amazing coffee didn't go to waste. All of us in the coffee business don't like to see coffee age become woody and lose its aromatics. Many roasters struggled with this problem during the pandemic situation, but more about it later, okay? Now we are in 2022, finally in Melbourne, and it's my absolute pleasure to brew the same coffee for you guys. My coffee is a geisha variety, carbonic macerated, and then naturally processed. Produced by the Dianos and Miller family on their farm Bajo Mono in Buket, Panama, at 1,500 meters above sea level. This specific lot was hand-picked, sorted, and put into tanks where CO2 was injected for creating a carbonic maceration for seven days, keeping the temperature between 18 and 25 degrees. And this step helps me to extract nice combination of citric and malic acidity in the final cup. After seven days of controlled fermentation, then the cherries were placed on African beds for another 25 days. And this step, sorry, that's enough time for sugars to move from the mucilage into the beans. And this step helps me extract nice candy and stone fruit sweetness. In order to brew the maximum potential of this coffee, I'm going to use a flatbed brewer, which increases sweetness and body in the final cup. Combination of a new design of Sibarist flatbed paper filters and my own designed 3D printed dripper allows me to brew coffee completely without bypass. So I'm going to get higher extractions and more even extractions, but there's one problem. Pouring from the kettle creates a lot of agitation, which creates higher TDS and slightly unbalanced cup. To avoid this, I'm going to use pouring from the kettle only in the beginning of the brew to speed up an extraction. And this water shower screen distributor this distributor helps me to control agitation through slow and even dosing of water in small drops. And it helps me to generate cleaner cup with 1.35 TDS. And I call it the semi-agitation approach. Now I'm going to walk you through exactly how I'm brewing this coffee. I'm starting with 12 grams. Ground it on a bent food grinder with a pre-breaker, which crushes the beans before the grinding. And it helps me to generate particles more round. And it helps me to get a sweeter cup with a round taste profile. My target is particles around 500 microns. My first pour is an aggressive 80 grams of water in 12 seconds, and I let it sit for one minute. That's enough time for particles to be fully saturated. Water temperature in this kettle with a wooden cap, it's a little bit higher, it's 96 degrees with 100 ppm, and it helps me to control acidity intensity which is extracted right now in the beginning of the brew. I'm going to pour a total of 210 grams of water, because this is the ratio that fits my semi agitation approach the best and generates the most complex version of my coffee. My second and last pour is with water at 88 degrees. A little bit harder with 150 ppm. And it's 130 grams split in two parts. 50 grams into the outer circle and the rest 80 grams into the inner circle of the distributor. Combination of these two circles speed up the dripping of water and creates a layer of water over the ground coffee, which slowly passes through it without agitation. And that's the essence of my semi-agitation approach, which is very simple, easy, and most importantly, it's consistent.
Now I want to share with you what you can expect from the final cup, but please first note that we are going to evaluate this coffee first by hot aroma, then by warm aroma, followed by warm attributes, and finally cold attributes. To the hot aroma, please write down. We're going to get upfront floral aromas of elderflower. followed by pear and peach. Green grapes. With the champagne in the end. To the warm aroma, please note blackberries, sour cherries, guava, and a little hint of cocoa in the end. The warm aroma is more fruity and chocolatey and less floral than hot aroma. <coughs> to the warm flavor notes. Blackberries, red grapes, apricot with candy sweetness. The acidity, when it's warm, it's going to be medium plus. Well integrated and complex. It's a perfect fusion of citric and malic acid. Reminds me passion fruit. The aftertaste, when it's warm, it's going to be medium. With green grapes and a little bit of cocoa in the end. Now the body, when it's warm, it's going to be creamy, silky, with a velvety mouthfeel. Now as the coffee cools down, stone fruit intensity grows up. In cold flavor notes, we're going to get apricot, peach, with a champagne in the end. Aftertaste is going to be long, full of green grapes. And finally, the body, when it's cold. It's going to be more juicier, with a refreshing mouthfeel, and silky. Now I'm going to give you instructions how to evaluate my coffee. Please evaluate the hot aroma directly from the decanter and give it a huge swirl. Then please evaluate warm aroma from this designed cup. Please stir the coffee with your cupping spoon and then please smell this coffee with your nose on this side. And then please evaluate all warm and cold attributes by sipping directly from the cup. Thank you. Now please evaluate the hot aroma. Please give it a huge swirl. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. Now, if you are ready, guys, it's finally time to taste this amazing geisha variety. But I have to make one thing clear. This is not a fresh harvest. This coffee was harvested and roasted two years ago for a World Brewers Championship in Melbourne. It was cancelled. Not waste. The amazing potential of specialty coffees is the most important for me. So this coffee has been waiting two years. Roasted vacuum seal it in my freezer until last, last week. Judges, please enjoy. It was my absolute pleasure. Please welcome this coffee in the future. Enjoy. Time. <laughs> 